Hi guys, Gilliam Elliott here. Today I wanna to speak with you briefly about dental tourism statistics in Latin America and why people are traveling to Latin America for dental care. So if you find this subject interesting, please like, share, and subscribe. So here in America, many people are familiar with dental tourism, even if they aren't familiar with the actual term dental tourism. Uh, a lot of times they may have a family member or friend who traveled to Latin America or other countries to get dental treatment abroad especially people in states like Texas, Arizona, California. Uh, I'm actually from Texas. Uh, when I was younger, my mom actually did dental tourism. Uh, before I knew what the term meant, she went to Mexico with a friend and got dental treatment done. So while a lot of US citizens are familiar with traveling to Latin America for dental treatment, there are some new factors that can ramp up the flow of dental tourism to Latin America even more than in the past. So I recently did a video on U.S. dental tourism statistics. So if you're a dentist or a medical tourism facilitator interested in dental tourists uh, from the U.S., uh, this video is going to be really important for you to watch. Uh, so make sure you check that video out and I'm going to leave the link below. So oftentimes when people speak of dental tourism to Latin America, they mainly speak of U.S. citizens traveling to get dental treatment abroad. But there's other countries going to Latin America also. There's a lot of Canadians traveling to Latin America for dental treatment. Uh, Europeans are also traveling to Latin America for dental treatment. And the overwhelming majority of these people are driven by cost and the affordability of getting dental treatment in Latin America. Even during 2020, the dental tourism market size was worth $3.1 billion. So dental tourism is booming and the numbers reflect this growth. As you may know, we pay the highest amount for dental and medical care here in the U.S. And not only do U.S. citizens pay the highest amount for dental care and medical care, um, a lot of times on these dental plans, uh, people have very high deductibles and they're underinsured. But what about the people who don't have insurance at all? The Guardian reports that 74 to 75 million Americans don't have dental insurance at all, while another 6 million citizens lost their dental coverage during the global health care crisis due to job loss. So this means that 6 million additional Americans are now faced with the choice of paying high out-of-pocket costs for dental coverage or traveling to Latin America where they can save 50 to 80% on dental care. So a lot of these people are in dire need of finding high quality, affordable dental care abroad. But as I said, it's not just U.S. citizens traveling to Latin America to get dental treatment. Um, Canadians are also faced with circumstances that are causing them to travel uh, to Latin America. Um, I just did a video on Europeans and why they're traveling uh, abroad for dental care and they're traveling to Latin America and other countries. So I'm going to link that video below as well. So I just want to do this short video on dental tourism in Latin America because the market is booming. So if you're a dentist or a medical tourism facilitator and you're looking to get your brand in front of dental tourists, I'm going to leave my email address below and my contact information. But thanks for watching this short video and I look forward to speaking to you soon.